Welcome to Wendy's Creative Space. I am back with another DIY and this time it's on this farmhouse mirror window. If you want to know how I created this, please don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up and let's get started. All right, so the idea of this mirror window came up because i had these mirrors for a long time they're pretty big mirrors they're like one foot by one foot long and i've had them for like about two three years already and i they were just sitting in my garage and i didn't know what to do with them until today that i decided i wanted to make that and so i don't know how much these cost but i'm sure you can find cheaper mirrors from the dollar tree they're usually pretty good you could just adjust the measurements of your window but this is what i'm going to be using so let's get started all right so i'm starting by grabbing my two pieces of wood i got this one's from lowe's i already had the shorter one and i went and bought the other one to complete the whole project but i will leave the measurements of these in the description box okay so i bought this knitter box and it came with a hot saw and when i saw this i was like great i can cut this in 45 degree angle just what i need but as you will find out in the video i don't know how to use this thing or maybe i'm not strong enough but you'll see what i mean i still used it but not how it's supposed to um now i also have that extra hot saw just in case i need to use it a staple gun and some wood glue i'm starting with my eight foot long piece and I'm going to start by marking down two pieces that are going to measure three feet long each. So that's all I'm going to be doing. Alrighty, so here is when I discover that I don't know how to use this tool but I used it a different way and made it work. So anyway, so where I mark the first, uh, where I mark the line uh, to mark my three feet long piece, that corner, I put it on the first line. You'll see, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, there. So the little mark is right there on that first crease um, that uh, I marked, or that it's on the box, I'm sorry and um, here i go i'm trying to figure out how i'm supposed to cut this it keeps getting stuck maybe the table didn't help it was kind of wobbly as well so you'll see that i'll figure out how to cut this so there i go i was kind of annoyed that it wasn't working so i marked it and now i'm gonna cut it now that it's marked i don't know why i spent ten dollars when i could have done this by myself but you know it is what it is i guess maybe my husband will use it later but that's what i end up doing and basically i use this technique to cut this pieces so yay go me <laughs> pieces i'm about to cut the two feet long pieces out of this smaller piece that i already had and i'm going to do the exact same thing 45 degree angle and and then hopefully this turns out the way i want it so wish me luck i've cut my frame out now i'm grabbing my thinner piece of wood this one i already had it as well i usually buy things and then i think about what i'm gonna make but here's one of them that now i find out what to do with it and um, it was also very inexpensive but anyway i'm cutting this one into three feet long one piece three feet long and then four pieces are going to be one foot long Okay. Oh my gosh, this is just hilarious. Uh, the fact that I spend money on this and like I'm not using it how it's supposed to be used. 
and like using it but not really using it is hilarious but anyway i basically applied the same technique as the other pieces i just marked it and then took it off this thing and just cut it so that's what i'm gonna do frame I'm about to staple the corners and I guess add glue and staple the corners I think I'm gonna cut these ones too small I thought I was making a fine decision but now that I'm looking at this I'm gonna have to adjust it so I'll see what, how I fix that but that is what it's looking so far and I will start gluing this into place because then it's time to dry so For these corners, I am grabbing my wood glue and I'm going to apply it to the corners just like that. And yes, I might have put a little bit too much glue on there, but it's fine. It's going to be fine. And once I have them together, I'm going to staple it. I'm going, grabbing my staple gun and just um, adding as many staples as I can to make sure that it's going to stay in place because once it dries, it needs to stay together. Now that this is glued together, I am going to use this caulk that I got from the Dollar Tree. It was just $1. I've seen people use this and there is gaps in these corners. So I'm gonna use this to fill in the gaps and I'm just gonna fill them in and um, let it dry to be able to paint it. Okay, so I'm putting these pieces all together to give me a visual of how this frame is going to look. And I found the middle of the frame to sit that in there. And I found out that I cut the shorter pieces a little smaller than what they were supposed to be. And as you can see now, I'm not great at doing math measurements and stuff like that. Math is not my strongest, but here we are um, I do what I can and so basically I'm just trying to move them move them around to see how I could make this work and yeah so now I'm trying to fix my mistake all right brainstorming how to fix this mistake I went and grabbed my mirrors and set this all together to see exactly where everything's gonna go and see if what I'm planning to do is gonna work. And that's all I'm gonna be doing, just moving things around to figure out how it looks. Okay, so this is what it looks like and I'm going to be trimming the smaller pieces to glue them to the glass. That's the best thing I could come up with with what I already done and I'm also going to cut this one to fit inside so now the little dividers are going to be inside of the frame and it's going to be great. All I'm gonna do now is just mark these pieces and cut them the exact same way I did earlier and uh, that's gonna be my new pieces. Now that I solved my problem, I'm going to sand these to be able to paint them and um, have it look smooth. So I'm grabbing my hand sander, I don't know if that's what it's called, but anyway, I'm just grabbing this and I'm gonna sand all my pieces. these uh, foam boards 
from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use this to be the back of my mirror and I just traced basically the window only and now with this little knife I'm gonna cut them. That's all I'm gonna do. Now that my foam boards are cut, I'm going to use this tape and I'm going to tape these two pieces together to make one piece because these foam boards were not long enough. So that's all I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna grab my mirrors and I'm gonna start placing them on this foam board to see where they're gonna go. Now that I place all my mirrors down, I'm gonna start gluing these and I'm using hot glue. Uh, this might not be the strongest glue. If you have a stronger blue, blue glue than this, I would suggest you use it. But this is all I had and it worked fine. So that's what I'm gonna use. Yay, they're all glued down. It is the time to start painting. So I'm gonna be using this spray paint that I got from Walmart. It was only $1. It was very thin. I am gonna say that if you wanted a strong color, I would go for a different brand because this was very thin. I did like three layers of it. I end up using the whole can, if that tells you anything. But anyway, here are my pieces all done and now I'm gonna let them dry. So I wanted to give my frame more dimension and I have this gray paint on hand. It's like a chalk paint. And I'm going to be painting the inside of this frame and I, the outside as well. I end up painting the outside as well. And I want it to look like it's a little bit older, so that's what I'm going to go for. so far I think it's looking great I'm excited to put all of this together which will be soon boop, boop, boop. Time to put all these pieces together and before I do that I'm gonna give my mirrors a quick clean because I did touch them and there were a lot of fingerprints all over it I'm gonna use my wood glue to glue my two pieces together it ended up working fine, but I'm not hanging my frame. I'm sitting it on top of a little table, so it was fine. But if you're going to hang yours, I would suggest you find a different glue. Maybe Google, do your research to see what's stronger. This is what I end up using for mine, and it was fine. So there you have it. Now I'm crossing my fingers, giving myself some luck. I just grab my wood piece and literally sit it on top. Just be careful to not smear the glue all over the mirror because I don't want it to look messy. But that's all I did. Now I'm just going to adjust this. Now I'm grabbing my caulk again. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. But I'm going to fill in the gap that is in between the wood and the foam board to cover the mirror so I'm not able to see it. This is what it looks like once I finished um, putting the filler in there. I think it looks great. Now it looks like one piece. Now I'm grabbing my two clamps that I have, two clamp, um, two corners to help it stay together. Now I'm gonna let it dry. And this is the last step to my window mirror. I am just uh, figuring out where each piece is gonna go. 
to uh, make sure where I'm going to be gluing them. Now that I figure out where each piece is gonna go, I'm going to start gluing this down and to glue them into place, I'm gonna be using my glue gun, my trusty glue gun. And yeah, this is not strong glue, but again, this is just um, going to be sitting on a little table, so I'm not worried about it. And so far it stayed together, so that's what I'm gonna do. So all I'm doing is starting with the middle piece and putting glue on there and just gluing it down. I'm going to continue to glue down uh, the smaller pieces and I'm almost done. This is how my mirror window looks like. Now I'm gonna let it dry and I'll show you the end result. Ta-da! This is the end result. I am so happy how this window turned out. I love it. I am super happy with it. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up and I will see you on my next DIY. Bye!